Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. For those of you watching us live on Periscope and Twitter, welcome to the show. And if you have any questions or concerns about the weather, drop the comments or your location especially. And if you have anything involving a weather report, if you've got that thermometer hanging outside your kitchen window, give us a temperature report, give us a sky report from around your area, let us know more about what's happening there. Feel free to share our broadcast to get more information. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and just do that myself for right now so that everybody knows exactly what's going on here. And as of right now, things pretty quiet across much of the area and should be staying that way. Check out our weather page, wreg.com slash weather. And of course, all these social media pages that you see up here. Current forecast, well, current conditions here in this bar right now, 60 degrees in the News Channel 3 backyard. Forecast for today, temperatures back into the mid to upper 70s. And as we get into later on tonight, temperatures only drop into the mid to upper 50s as we head toward around News Channel 3 at 10 and into tomorrow morning around News Channel 3 daybreak. Rest of the day today, again, looking like plenty of sunshine out there. That camera that you see behind there, uh, St. Francis camera in and around Cordova, looks like it's behind by about a day or so with a lot of clouds out there, but mainly looking at sunshine today. Occasionally seeing some breezy winds across portions of the Mid-South around north-northeast at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Could be a little breezier times, but otherwise not doing too bad out there and for that matter the rest of the day looks pretty good too through about early this afternoon and into this evening plenty of mild conditions temperatures for highs back in the mid to upper 70s we featured this again for those of you who are not able to stick around for the rest of the show so at least you've got a pretty good idea as to what's going on with the forecast out there beautiful sunshine around germantown around the water tower just to the north of germantown high school and looking off toward the area of east memphis around the towers and i-240 and pop and good visibility for this morning. A little bit of haze out there, but not doing too bad for the Mid-South and 60 degrees just north of Germantown High School. Rhodes College in Memphis, beautiful blue skies on the Weather Underground system camera. Weather Underground Tim B's webcam from Mineral Wells, Mississippi. Plenty of blue skies and a thick blanket of green on the trees out there, so beautiful conditions there. Windy Country Club, golfers out and about getting ready to go for a good round of golf. And you can see a few clouds left over, especially into northern parts of Mississippi this morning. But other than that, we have little, if anything, to show you in the way of rainfall across much. So definitely good news on that. Uh, hang on for just one second here. This uh, computer graphic takes a little bit of extra memory so it does kind of tend to slow the graphic system down by just a little bit. We'll be back into the mid to upper 60s to lower 70s as we get into the course of the rest of the day today. For the Mid-South, fairly comfortable and chances of rain fall way on down into around northern Alabama and dwindling chances for that matter. By the time we hit lunchtime, most of that should be gone and moving away from the Mid-South, continuing on down into around areas where they desperately need it. Georgia, back into Florida with all those uh, campfires starting off, some wildfires into that area, hopefully going to be kind of dwindling those by just a little bit. Rest of the day through the afternoon, mid to upper 70s or so. Things looking quite nice across much of the mid-south as we hit the upper 70s with plenty of sunshine. Evening temperatures back in the upper 60s to mid 70s, so heading out on the town for a movie. That looks pretty cool. If you won't be back until late tonight, early tomorrow morning, jacket may not be such a bad idea because we are looking at the possibility of seeing by daybreak right before sunrise the possibility of maybe some temperatures into around the lower 50s and some parts of the Mid-South could see temperatures easily back into the mid to upper 40s, but only a few. 50s are going to be the rule. 40s are going to be the exception. Rest of the day tomorrow, beautiful for Mother's Day. Temperatures by late morning in the upper 70s to right around the lower 80s. Lower 80s for much of the Mid-South on Mother's Day. Things looking very quiet there. And toward tomorrow night on News Channel 3 at 10, also not seeing too much of a problem in the mid to upper 60s to right around the lower 70s. Rest of the forecast today, beautiful, cool, dry, early, mild dry, a little breezy at times throughout the rest of the day. Again, forecast here showing northeast winds at about 12 later on this afternoon. Not enough for a wind advisory, but decently breezy from time to time. Rest of tomorrow, Mother's Day looks pretty good back in the lower 80s across much of the Mid-South and a little less breezy, but still very nice. Still no rainfall chances coming up on Monday. 
with warm conditions and fairly sunny skies across much of the area as we go throughout the early portion of next week. Toward the end of this next week, that's where we see the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms coming our way. This one, again, is going to be giving us the potential for some area showers coming up as we get into around Thursday and Friday. It doesn't really look like much right now, but that'll be the best chance. More chances going into next weekend and the potential of, again, some of that activity maybe around the barbecue fest period of time uh, into around the area toward the week's end. A lot of other festivities going on in the Mid-South, so that bears watching, but so far the good news is that we don't see anything in the way of severe weather chances. Now, again, check in with the forecast often over the next several days just to be on the safe side. This will be a very good idea. Forecast for today will be much different than it is coming up tomorrow, and again, for the next several days, you cannot check in on a Saturday and expect Friday's forecast to be the same, so you just have to be up to date on what's going on, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the next several days, especially again here at our website, and we'll keep you updated on that. Also, on our News Channel 3 weather app, make sure you get this on your phone, whatever platform you've got for your phone or your tablet, make sure you stay up to date with weather. We've got satellite pictures, we've got lightning tracker, we've got all kinds of great information about the tropics when that starts heating up in about a month or so, and also seeing again earthquake data on there, so if you'd like to know more, download our app today. All you have to do is go to your app store and search WREG weather for more on that. Catch my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. If you can't watch online or on air, catch it by ear by listening to East Arkansas broadcast stations Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And I'll be glad to have you along for the ride to keep you updated as to what's going on. And of course more on my social media network channels out there. I'll be glad to keep you up to date with what's going on across much of the Mid-South where it comes to information. If you can't watch it on air, definitely want to check in online and we'll keep you updated on that. Rest of the day today. Again, pleasant. No problems at all seen into tonight and for the rest of the weekend. Again, Mother's Day looks good. Next chance of showers and thunderstorms comes our way as we get into, again, toward the end of the week and we'll keep our eyes on that. Questions, concerns, ideas, comments, would love to hear from you. Please let me know at austin.onic. should be an email address down here in the bottom section of the screen, but you can reach me through this website right here at wreg.com slash weather. It's austin.onic at wreg.com. We'll have information on what's going on in the skies across the Mid-South for, ast for astronomy's sake. You can check that out on our Sky blog. That'll be coming up a little bit later on. And of course, tons of weather information available throughout the rest of the weekend. Stay tuned for more with Daybreak. I'll be back on set here in the next few minutes. My co-anchor Nina Harrelson and I will be doing the rest of News Channel 3 Daybreak through 9 o'clock this morning. And of course, our news shows tonight with Kristen Holloway coming up on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10. Mike City has sports, yours truly with weather, and we'll keep you updated throughout the course of the rest of the weekend. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onick from the WREG News Channel 3 Severe Weather. Weather Center. Thanks for joining us for this morning's exclusive weather video blog update of Weather Overtime.